All right, Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. Thank y'all for the time, love, support that y'all been showing me. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel before you watch this video. Subscribe to my channel, man. More content like this. I'm, I'm really going at it by myself. Just going at it, going as hard as I can. And I like the results. And I like what I'm able to do and what the content I'm able to give my people. Wale, man. Seems like a really good dude. Always seems like he has good in his heart. And I really like his music, right? I really enjoy Wale's music that he put out. I've gotten through half of Shine. I'm going to finish the rest of the album probably today. I said I was going to do that last weekend, but I didn't get to it. It was a lot of music out. I um, had a lot going over the weekend. Wale's album, Shine, um, is, is, is not going to do great numbers, all right? And I want to pre preface my comments by saying this. My comments by saying he did push it up a week. Um, but he's on pace to do eighteen to 22,000 copies, all right? Just to put that in perspective, it ain't good. All right, it ain't good at all. Even the bottom of the barrel, like the Young Thugs and, and Young Thugs album sales, never translate well. Um, even they have did better than eighteen to twenty two thousand copies. Rose did pretty good copies. Is is MMG leader? Uh, I mean that. I think what Meek did upwards of two hundred thousand a few years ago. I'm just trying to compare him to some 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 double MG people. Um, just I mean Drake, Kendrick. I mean the, their sales are through the roof, hundreds of thousands of sales. This number ain't good, especially for somebody that we consider to be an elite class of rap. And um, what does this tell us about Wale? First and foremost, I want to say this: Wale's over at Atlantic, I believe, and I never believe I never have believed that Wale's labels have had his back. I've always thought that Wale. Music has always been on the cusp for labels. And I don't know why it is he puts out great, dope music. But I never have felt like his labels have 100% supported him the way he needs to be supported. And I don't get that one. I really don't get that one. I also think he put himself in a hole by putting his project out a week early. That hurt. That hurt. People were expecting. People want music when they know we're going to get it. Unless you're a Beyonce or J. Cole of the world, we don't like surprises. And if you're going to surprise us, surprise us like a week early and let us prepare for it, let us listen to the old music up until the project. Wale is not the artist that needs to be pushing his project up a week early. He already struggles with, I think, label support as is. I know he wanted to do it on just kind of like on in the spare of the moment. He said it was for his fans, showing that the fans are the most important thing. But 18,000 to 22,000 copies, I mean, sheesh, man. It doesn't put him. You know what? Because we have these conversations quite often, and Wale's name get brought up in a lot of conversations when we talk that top tier of rap. And, and Wale, for years, has been somebody who's been my number five guy. And after, after the last year and a half, I put Chance the Rapper in that spot for my top five guys in hip-hop. In no particular order, I got Kendrick, Drake, Cole, Chance, and um, Big Sean, of course, my favorite artist. And it used to be Wale instead of Chance, but I mean, I can't... Uh, listen, man... In my top five, there's a lot of things that I put in perspective. I put lyrics. Wale has those lyrics. I put creativity. Wale has creativity. But sales are also a thing. And impact with the music is also a thing. And let's just be honest. The sales for this Shine Project is just not going to be great. 18 to 22, that, just not great. Now, to give Wale credit, his tour is pretty much sold out completely. So that tells me there's a disconnect between the label and Wale. There's, it, it, it could be A of two things. It's one of two things. I said A of two things. One of two things. Either Wale label doesn't support him the way he needs him to support him. They're not figuring things out on their side the right way to promote his music. Or the other thing is Wale's music is not what it used to be. All right? I don't look at Wale's music that has fell off that much. He still has hit records. He's still able... Not to the magnitude of maybe his album, his last couple albums, but he still has hit records. He still has music that sounds aesthetically pleasing. I like Wale's music, but I mean, something is disconnected. I don't know if if he thinks too far into things. I don't know, but something is not connecting with his music. I don't know if his music is, is too matured for his label. I don't know, but that's a label's job to figure those things out. 18 to 22,000 at, at this point where Wale is at in his career is absolutely disrespectful for his brain. I'm not going to lie to you. That's terrible. That's a flop. Y'all can say what y'all want. That album flopped. Ain't no if fans bust about it. That album flopped. You sell 18 to 22,000 records. I mean, sheesh. You get an R&B star who ain't been around in decades, they can come back and sell 18 to 22. 
That ain't that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Not for somebody as big and as talented as Wale. So somebody got to take this L. I think Wale got to take a bit of this this L because he did push it up on, on some spare of the moment Wednesday night, Thursday night type shit and push it up. And uh, the L's got to be given to a lot of people. That label got to do more work for him. That, that anticipation around Wale's album with like videos and trailers, I mean, it's just at an all-time low. I don't know who whose hand is involved in that. I don't know who takes that L, but... The, the, the way they're giving us the project, the shine, the meaning behind it, it's just not getting told. I'm sorry. There's not enough anticipation for Wale's projects. And at this point in his career, I don't know how you can consider him in the top five. I mean, I mean, I mean, music is a big part. But at some point, presentation, all of it, creativity, all of it has to be a part of it. And right now, his projects, even though the music is pretty good to me still, the masses aren't getting the music and the masses aren't getting his direction behind his projects. All right. Just my opinion, just a perspective. Wale flops. 18 to 22,000 is projection. Again, that can change. It probably will end up being a little higher. Usually those projections are off on the low end. Usually the artist does a little bit higher. So maybe we're looking at 30, 40. At this point, 40 would be good if you could do that for the first week. Um, but, I mean, sheesh, man. It doesn't look like he's going to touch 40,000. All right? Thank you all for the time. Let's Don't take it for granted. Salute. Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at